from Riverbend on this sunny spring morning. I'm going to talk to you today about a shrub that we have growing here at Riverbend um, that is one of my favorites. This is spice bush, and uh, it's a really great eastern uh, native shrub that thrives in this area. We have it growing through our woodlands here, and we love it. And I think that you should consider it uh, for your yard as well. This is um, an understory shrub, so it does well in the shade. And as you can see from how it grows, its growth habit, uh, it's quite open, so you can plant around it. It doesn't make too much shade on the ground. And um, it's a wonderful native alternative to invasive honeysuckle or forsythia uh, that has so many benefits for wildlife and for humans as well. As you can see right now in the spring, it has these pretty yellow flowers. They were even more pronounced a week or two ago. They're one of the first things to bloom in the woodlands after a long winter. So they're a really welcome site for us, but also for early pollinators that might emerge. Um, and the spice bush is a host plant for the spice bush swallowtail butterfly. So it's mid-April and it's just coming into leaf now. In the fall, this has beautiful color. The leaves will turn bright yellow and the female plants have bright red berries, which the birds love, but which can also be crushed and dried and used as a spice. It tastes similar to allspice, slightly lemony. Um, it's a very aromatic plant. You can um, use the twigs and the leaves uh, to make a tea um, and enjoy the bright berries in the tea as well.